Hey guys, so today we're gonna be exploring some of Cambridge. Uh, it's gonna be a great day, the sun's out, so that's always a good sign. Okay, so we start our walk by going through Parker's Pieces, which is a massive park near the center of town. You can see a little amusement park here, which was set up over Christmas break. A few minutes away from Parker's Pieces, we visited one of the 31 colleges at Cambridge. This first one is called Emmanuel College, which students call Emma for short, and you can see its front court here. A lot of colleges have informal reputations, and Emma is known as being just lovely. A fun fact about Emma is that the founder of Harvard College in the States, John Harvard, attended here for his bachelor's and master's degrees before going on to found Harvard. And so to this day, the college maintains its ties with Harvard through scholarships for students between the two schools. We went to go see the chapel in Emma College. Due to its early Christian influences, all colleges in Cambridge have a chapel, which are still in use today. This current chapel at Emma was completed in 1677, and a special part about the chapel are its windows, which were placed in celebration of the college's 300-year anniversary, and pictures theologians from the English Reformation who attended Emma, such as Peter Steary and William Sancroft, who was a prior Archbishop of Canterbury, amongst a couple of others. As we continued through the campus, we came across this really big garden with a lake in the middle of it, and it was actually really nice, created a really quaint atmosphere. Next we wanted to check out their library and this is us sneaking in. Um, there's a lot of stairs coming up here so we're going to fast forward through all of this. Finally made it to the main study room. It was quite a big space, very bright and spacious, good working environment. There were a couple of people studying in here, so we didn't want to make too much noise uh, as we were filming this. Left the library and came across this other garden that has a little creek running through it. Okay, so that was Emma College. Right now we're walking down Pembroke Street and we're going to go visit Pembroke College. Pembroke College was founded in 1347 and right as you enter the grounds you are met with this first courtyard which is called Ivy Court. Their chapel was built in 1665 and closer to the altar in a separate room contains the names of the 450 Pembroke men who fell in World War I and World War II. Here on the left we have King's College. It was founded in 1441 by King Henry VI. 
Initially, the college was going to be quite small, but ended up being a majestic building to show how important the king was. We'll be showing you guys around inside another time. In the distance, you can see Gonville and Keyes College, also known as Keyes. Um, this is Grace's College, and as we're getting a bit closer, you can see that there's a Santa hat on top of one of the statues here. So Keyes was designed in a very specific way. There are three main gates you pass through, which mimic the progression of your student studies. The Gate of Humility comes first, which is located here above the Porter's Lodge. Um, the idea is that students must forget what they know and adopt this posture in order to learn effectively. The Gate Ahead is the Gate of Virtue. Um, the idea being that with newfound knowledge, students are expected to use what they learn for good. And you can see the Latin words above the gate here, and it leads into another courtyard. On the left here, you'll see the final gate, and this is the gate of honor. Again, you can see the Latin just above. Students are only allowed to pass through this gate once they've completed their degree, and hopefully uh, Grace will be able to pass through this gate one day. So, this is our MCR, which is where the grad students come and hang out. So sometimes there's port nights in here. It gets packed after dinner. Um, a lot of different events happen in here, but yeah, it's for the post. Place. Yeah, it's a lot cleaner than what it's supposed to be like. Look, that's our current year. Oh. Yeah. There is Grace in the bottom right corner-ish. Right here. There she is. <laughs> Pigeon holes are here. If we get mail, which, you know, have not got mail. They also have some oars up here. Yes. If you win bumps which we're gonna try to do this year. And if not... <coughs> Excuse me. <laughs> and if not, we will get one oar one way or another. Right, here's another oar up here. From Lent. This is from the Lent bumps. Okay, so the really cool thing about Keys is that no matter where you are in the campus grounds, that um, if somebody shouts, yeah, Keys, out loud, that you're definitely gonna get at least one response. So we're gonna test that out uh, right now. Uh, here we go. Yeah, Keys! Yeah, Keys. Well, it worked, it worked. So this is right outside the Wall of Keys, and up above there's about six feet between Keys and the Senate House, which is the place where students graduate. Now there's a story here about how a group of undergraduate engineers walked across the gap using a wooded plank in order to set up a crane to lift up a car onto the roof as a prank. Um, the school and city officials didn't know how to get the car back down, so they actually had to saw it off bit by bit and eventually throw the car away. Um, if you don't believe me, you can check it out online. This is a completely true story. Okay, so we were getting hungry and went to the Central Market Square to grab something to eat. Lots of different shops and a variety of foods here. It was pretty busy, so we grabbed something quickly and then left.
right, so another cool thing about Cambridge is that there is water running through right in the middle of the uh, town. This path is actually quite popular. There's people uh, jogging, biking along the way. There's also some swans here uh, that are really nice and occasionally the kayaks or the rowing boats that uh, come along as well. So uh, another very cool aspect about Cambridge. Is it snowing? Yeah. <laughs> it's not snowing. It's snowing. Really? It's snowing? Yeah, it's snowing. Interesting. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Okay, so that's all for now. Hopefully you got a taste of Cambridge. We'll have follow-up videos as we continue to explore the city and we'll see you in the next video.